Hey guys, welcome back to another trade it video. Today we're going to be discussing bots, what commands are useful, how to navigate with them and how it might be useful for you. So let's hop straight into things. So what you're going to want to do is open up the game and the first thing we'll do is enable or make sure that the developer console is enabled. So we're going to head up to the settings cog in this top corner, go to game and then this very first setting enable developer console should be ticked on yes. and it is we're gonna check that it's bound to the key that we want you can see it is here so that's the first thing that we're going to want to do so let's hop into a game we're going to click on practice competitive and let's get some new okay once you've got into a game pick your side let the uh, starting screen go through okay right so let's just open up the console and let's type sv underscore cheats now, don't worry, this isn't gonna turn on hacks or anything like that. It's just gonna enable some of the more in-depth commands that we need to control the bots, add bots, and kind of configure the game as we want. Now that we've done SV underscore cheats one, we are going to click or type, I should say, um, limit teams one. Now, this is going to make sure that your your team limits are adjusted to the way you want. So you can play around with this and figure out what it does. We'll also do in that same vein, auto balance false. And we wanna do that because it's gonna auto balance the bots on each side of the map. And we definitely don't want that. So now finally getting to controlling the bots. To be able to kick the bots, we're literally just going to type bot underscore kick. And that's going to remove all of the bots for you. You can see there are now no more bots. The game has ended because, well, there are just no more bots to play. So we're going to start a new round. If I add some bots back, we can go through and add some to both CT and T. So there we go. We've added a few bots back. I can also go through and individually kick the bot on T or CT side. So if I go bot underscore kick CT. It's gonna remove a bot from the CT side and the same for T side, the button score, there you go. Okay, now that we've learned how to kick and add bots, let's figure out some other useful commands that you might want to use through different scenarios. So let's go back to opening the console and let's type bot underscore quota mode and we want to change that to normal. Now, what this does is it sets the bot quota mode to normal, as in the name. But more importantly, if I kill this bot here and we finish the round, you can see that it has not adjusted the bot quota mode. If I go back and change it to kill, it has uh, now removed one of the bots to balance out the teams. So that might be useful for you in certain scenarios. Um, I haven't used it too much, um, but yeah, it's just one to add to the uh, pocket of uh, codes that you know. Another useful one is bot underscore difficulty. Now this is a useful command because if you're practicing against bots, then maybe you want to make them a little bit easier or a little bit harder. Now bot difficulty is set on a scale of three. So zero is the easiest, one is a medium difficulty and difficulty two is the hardest difficulty that we can access right now. In general, I would say one is perfectly fine. If you wanna set them lower and just kind of like dry run strats or practice running around the map and killing bots, it's totally up to you. And uh, that's something that might be greatly beneficial for you. Another one, just for if you want to finish the round or move on to the next one. Instead of kicking them, you can actually just kill all the bots. It will uh, kind of reset the situation and allow you to dry run that from the start of the round. Um, and again, another useful command is bot underscore all underscore weapons. Now, this is um, gonna enable the bots to allow, uh, to kind of use the buy menu as they wish. So it's gonna allow them to buy up certain weapons, you know, when you see bots buy up auto shotguns, all that kind of stuff, it's just gonna allow them to kind of buy weapons and add a bit more variation. And bot underscore stop 
is going to be the last one. So if I do one, the bot is now going to freeze there exactly where it is. So if you think a bot is in an interesting location or you want to freeze a bot, um, say again, if you want to practice and execute or a particular strat against a bot and just see how you react, then that's also a useful command. That's going to round out this video though. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. If you have any more questions or any more useful commands, then uh, feel free to put them in the comments. But that's going to be it. If you enjoy the video, make sure you like and subscribe to trade it down below. If you want more information, head towards the trade it blog, but I'll see you in the next one.